Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today with Belinda Cook, who's the Executive Director of the Queen Anne's County Arts Council, and she's here to talk about some upcoming events in the month of November, going into December, a lot of holiday stuff going on, and a lot of stuff that's been events that have been, they're, they're regular events now, mm -hmm. like the paintbrush stuff. Yeah. Um, so Belinda, welcome. Thanks Hi. for coming. Thanks for having me again. You guys have been very busy. We have, we have. It's been fun. That, that's a good fun. thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I know for November you have your um, benefit exhibit that's... Yeah, this is our... We have two exhibits a year that are, are, are bigger money raisers for uh -huh. us. The other ones are members where we're just showcasing artists and we don't take any of a percentage for a fundraiser to help the Arts Council. This one we do. Okay. And we've got two local artists, Terry Wolf, which I'm sure everyone's familiar with, and Brian Draper, who everyone knows and loves. Right. And Steven Blindberger. Those are our three artists for that exhibit. The opening is November 7th, uh, 5 o'clock, 5.30 at the Arts Council, okay. and it'll run through December. You really should stop in and take a look at it. So so they have. there's plenty of time to... Oh, yeah, you've got a month, a little over a month to, to come in and take a look. Okay, and then um, following the opening of that, you're having a concert, benefit yeah. concert. Yeah, love story. And, and, you know, they've appeared locally around... And I get a lot of questions. Is it a play? No, <laughs> they're a, they're a band. They're right. a live band, and they <laughs> you dance. You can you know it, it, you really get into it. I hear. I haven't seen them. I've only you know watched their demo right. tapes, but it'll be a lot of fun. And it's something different. And um, yeah, that's on November fifteenth. Mm -hmm. And then following that, you have your paintbrush party for November. Yes, which we're doing a crab. We're doing a crab. Are you really? Well, everyone asks us. You know, when are you doing a crab again? So we're going to do a crab. Okay. Even though it has nothing to do with crab season because it's right. winding down, but we're doing a crab. And it's selling out really fast, so you got to call and get your tickets really, really soon. I'm sitting here thinking I need to sign up for that yeah. one. And, and there Sarah are a lot Lyle of fun. is going to do that one. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. And then um, some ongoing events in November. You have um, the Kids Art Through Literature mm -hmm. with Maria Sage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's uh, the kids that what do they learn about? She tries to take literature and tie it to art, so that they're you know learning how to create. At the okay. same time, she's exposing them to another form of art, which is literature. So okay. she did the Alice in Wonderland camp that kind of was a dabble. It was not as, this is more for intermediate level. Gotcha. You know, okay. not beginner. So Okay. And then um, another ongoing, you have Zoom Beanie. Oh, yeah. I, just saying that cracks me up. But Yeah, they are funny. <laughs> oh, I love having them, though. It's, it's really, really, really popular. And it's every Thursday at 1030. And it's walk in, you know, walk in or sign up. You know, there's a little bit of a discount if you sign up early. And what ages is it? Oh, gosh, it's zero to three. But I've got five-year-olds in there that have fun. Okay. You know, any preschooler and their mom or dad or their right. nanny they, or they whatever. They have to have an, adult, some, an yeah. adult with them. And you can bring more than one, but, yeah, right. you need to have an adult. Mm -hmm. And then they all the, all those those events lead into heck with the malls mm -hmm, the first mm -hmm. uh saturday in december the sixth yeah we're extending it from nine to three and you know it really is unique handcrafted items you know it's um the place to go when you're looking for that gift for somebody that you just don't know what to get them you'll you'll definitely find something there and and it's at the arts council is it also at the church it's at the arts council at st at st paul's okay and all the businesses in town are participating as well and you know offering discounts in some cases and staying open wonderful well, yeah earlier hours so you can make a day of it yeah exactly <laughs> exactly hit everywhere and then um lastly the last event is the nutcracker tea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this first is year we're partnering with midshore dance to bring nutcracker tea and it's really geared for kids three to 14 or 15, I guess. Okay. But it's not, um, it's more relaxed. You know, they'll have little finger sandwiches. And, you know, when you take them to a more uh, stiffer ballet, they have to they, sit, they, they and sit and be still. Right. It's more relaxed. They'll read a story and the dancers will dance around through the tables. And oh, wow. It'll be a lot of fun. The kids will leave with a goodie bag. You know. Oh, nice. And it's very limited seating, so call soon. Okay. Call really soon. I've already started to get people calling. This and that's on December 13th. 14th. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Lastly, we have inform your contact information up there uh, so that, yeah, you, you can know. find out all kinds of stuff on the website about classes, upcoming events, exhibits, and we always need volunteers. The more we have events, the more volunteers we need. So if you're looking for something to do and you want to be involved, we welcome, welcome and anyone. And I just, I thought of another, you're doing your reef sale. I didn't, we yes. didn't talk about that. Tell us a little bit we're about that. We're all going to get together, and this is like, it's fun to volunteer at the Arts Council because mm -hmm. we're going to have lasagna, homemade um, lasagna. You're coming. That's yep. right. That's right. <laughs> And we're going to make wreaths to sell as a fundraiser, live wreaths. So you'll learn how to make a wreath if you don't okay. know how. We'll have a couple of people, hopefully more than not know how, because I don't know how, 
but m to help us make these live reads, and then we're going to use them as a fundraiser. They'll be for sale the week before Heck with the Malls during Small Business Saturday. Okay. And then on Heck with the Malls Day. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, you know, if, you, if you're crafty or if you're not crafty, come out. Um, yeah, just give us a call. It's 410-758-2520 yeah. or visit the website. Everything's on the website. Okay. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me.